let's start with the poison puzzle now what the poison puzzle says here what the puzzle given is there are thousand bottles of soft drink now a mischievous person has mixed poison in one bottle in one bottle means out of these thousand bottles there is only one bottle which contains the poison but we need to find out which bottle contains the poison what is the minimum number of rats minimum number of rats we need to find out which bottle contains the poison now look what all all bullshit stuff means simply rat is going to die exactly in the time what all time we are left out with means simply there is only one cycle on one rat now let's see there are two bottles there are two bottles and one of them contains the poison out of two bottles forget about thousand if the question was two bottles are there and one of them contains the poison simply what we'll do some liquid from that to first rat one rat will give some liquid to one rat we will give liquid from bottle one if the rat dies first bottle contains poison and if rat does not if it does not die second contains the poison simply if we have got two bottles and one of the bottles contains the poison from first bottle we give some liquid to rat if he dies first contains poison if he does not die means if two bottles are there one of them contains poison we need one rat to decide now if we have got four bottles and one of them contains poison there are four bottles and one of them four bottles are there one of them contains poison what we will do we'll take first rat will give mixture of one and few drops of one few drops of two now to second rat if we give mixture of 3 and 4 what will happen if first dies if first dies the poison is in one or two if first he dies poison is in one or two if second dies poison is in three or four but we are not sure so this will not work give you a hundred percent to understand what we are doing so now to first rat we give mixture of one and two and we keep something common to second rat we give mixture of two and three what will happen to first rat we give one and two second rat we give two and three now what can happen if only first dies if only first dies bottle one contains poison if only second dies bottle three contains poison if both die if both die the only thing common is bottle two and if none dies bottle number four contains poison so if four bottles are there how many rats we need is two rats to test upon them to first rat we give mixture of 1 and 2 to second rat we give mixture of 2 and 3 so what we have done is if four were there we made half of that is the binary logic now to second rat we give something common between them so if four rats four bottles are there we need two rats now if there are eight bottles what we will do we make half of we make half to first rat we give mixture of 1 2 3 four. few drops of one few drops of two few drops of three now to second rat if eight bottles are there we made half of that and we give mixture of this to rat one now we make again half of that something common we keep here something we keep common here and three four mixture of this we gave to this thing 
and 5, 6. What we did was total 8, we made half of that 1, 2, 3, 4. Half of that common from this side and this side. So this we give to second rank. Now the problem is right now 3, 4 is common. So third rack what we will be doing is look simply up till now what we have done is first 1, 2, 3, 4, second 3, 4, 5, 6. Now up till now what can happen is if only first dies one or two may contain poison if only second dies five or six may contain poison so to eliminate that that factor third one we will be giving out of one or two anyone out of three or four anyone to so third rat anything out of five six five. now check it what all we have got let's check it what all we have got First rat, click, we gave mixture of 1, 2, 3, 4. Second, we gave mixture of 3, 4, 5, 6. For scaling up purpose, I am telling you, first we made broad half. Half of that, half of this side. Now, something common, out of 1 and 2, I gave 1. Out of 3, 4, 3, 5. Now, we have got all the possible. If only first dies and no one else dies, only first and no one else, second bottle contains poison. If only second dies and no one else dies, what all we know is, if only second dies and no one else dies, we know six contains poison. If only third and no one else, seven. Only third and no one. If we know all the three die, all three die, just eight. Now what all we tried was if eight bottles were there, half of that this mixture to first rat, first rat we give mixture, second rat we give this and third. If all the three die, the only thing which is common to all the three of them is bottle three. If only first and second die and not third, only thing common to them and not to third one is four. And if none dies, if none dies, it's it. So simply this was the explanation going on, what all we decided. Simply if out of two bottles, if out of two bottles, anyone contains poison, simply we make half, half of that we give to anyone, half of that we give to anyone, so we needed one rat. Now, if four bottles are there, any one of them contains poison, we make half of that. If four bottles are there, any one of them contains poison, we make half of that. This mixture to one rat. First rat gets mixture of one and two. Second gets mixture of two and three. To first we give one and two mixture. Second we get two and three mixture. But if four bottles are there, any one contains poison, we need two rats. Now, if we have got 8 rats, 8 bottles are there, if 8 bottles are there, we need 3 rats to find out. How we work out is, first gets half of that, 1, 2, 3, 4. To first one, we give half of that. To second one, we give this thing. And first one got 1, 2, 3, 4 half of this, half of this side, half of this side. First rat gets 1, 2, 3, 4 combination. To second rat, we gave half of this side common, 3, 4, 5, 6. And to third rat, we are going to give is, what all gives us doubt? 1, 3, 5, and 7. So simply what shortcut we have worked out. If out of two bottles, any one contains, we need one rat. 4 bottles, 2 rats, 8 bottles, 3 rats, means 2 raised to 1 bottles, 1 rat, 2 raised to 2 bottles, 2 rats, 2 cube, 3. Last aisle, those who want to be curious enough about the things, if we have got 16 bottles, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Half of that, 
first rat we will give half of this means mixture of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this is going to be for first rat to second rat half common this side half and this side half to second rat we will give 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 now to third rat what all we are going to give third rat is half of this side means let's say we give third rat 1 2 3 4 we don't give we give 5 6 7 8 we don't give 9 10 11 and 12 we don't give 13 and 14 to third rat we give mixture of this and to fourth rat common is 1 2 so let's say 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 so now if all four die just for curiosity part formula we have already worked out if all the four die the only thing which is common to all the four is five so if all the four die it means fifth bo bottle contains poison bottle number five if none dies it's bottle number 16 which contains poison if only for one dies if only rat number one dies what all is there which is there only in rat one find out one is there other two is there other three it's there four is it there anywhere else no so then bottle four will contain poison last if only one and two die only one and two and no one else only one and two and no one else so then what will be there in that part tell me here quickly if only one and two die and no one else then bottle number eight those who were curious enough if 16 bottles first we make half the binary logic we work out divided by two now half of that this side this side to second one now between them common are five six seven eight so half of that one two half of that this thing this part half of that half of this half of this this is for third one and fourth one so now simply the formula part if two raised to one two bottles are there any one of them contains poison number of rats we need one two raised to two four bottles are there we need two rats two cube eight bottles any one contains poison we need three rats 2 raised to 4, 16 bottles, we need 4 rats. And 2 raised to 10, 1, 0, 2, 4, we need 10 rats. But if the number of bottles is not power of 2, like anything more than 2 but till 4, we will need 2 rats. Means, even if 3 bottles are there, we will need 2 rats. Even if 5, 6 or 7 bottles are there, we will need 3 rats anything more than 8 and less than 16 or up to 16 9 to 15 then also we will need 4 so 2 raised to 9 5 1 2 we need 9 but anything from 5 1 2 to 1 0 2 4 we are going to need 10 rats so if the question is if there are 50 bottles any one of them contains poison if 50 bottles are there any one of them contains poison 2 raised to 5 32 bottles we need 5 rats 2 raised to 6 64 bottles we need 6 rats but if anything in between that 50 or 60 or 64 or 40 we are going to need next power we are going to need 6 rats So simply B8 this thing will need this, B8 this thing we are going to need 4. So anything between this and this we are going to need next power of 